Today we're going to be trying out the latest releases from Logitech G. This video is sponsored by Logitech G, but as always, all thoughts and opinions are my own. Okay, so we're starting off with the new Logitech G Litra Beam LX. It's a slim and elegant dual-sided RGB gaming light geared towards streamers and creators, but honestly, I can even see it being used for people who work from home and want to improve their lighting for daily meetings. On one side, there's a CCT key light with a dimmer and controls to switch between cool or warm toned light, and the other side has light sync RGB that you can use the Logitech G Hub on your computer to completely customize the lights. Alongside the basic dimming and power buttons, there's this notch on the top that lets you select which side of the beam you want to control. And it even has some built-in cable management for that clean, cable-free look. Now, why should you want one of these? Well, as a creator, streamer, or even someone who has a lot of business meetings, lighting is key. You want to look as natural, bright, and clear as possible, or else what's the point of even having your webcam on? The Litra Beam LX has something called True Soft Technology for cinematic color accuracy and enhanced diffusion, which is meant to eliminate harsh shadows. Rear facing RGB side produces a really bright and vivid light and the colors are really rich and accurate. And of course, like their other Logitech G products, LightSync really delivers seamless control between lighting effects, presets, and custom color combinations, including display matching, where it'll actually pick up all of the colors on your monitor for that super personalized gaming experience. Even though the rear facing side is something only you can really see, I really like that it plays into the RGB style instead of only being a one-sided key light that doesn't really look like anything special on your desk. You have the option between blue Bluetooth or USB-A for the RGB synchronization, and you can connect them with your other Logitech G Light Sync products like your mouse, keyboard, and headset. And it's certified safe for all you streamers that stream all day and night because it's easy on the eyes. And it passed one of the strictest testing guides for long period streaming, so that's pretty cool. Okay, moving on to one of two new microphones, we'll first start with the Yeti Orb, which is what I'll be using for this portion of the review so you can hear the sound quality. I have it about two inches away from my mouth, by the way. The Orb is a super, super lightweight premium Light Sync microphone that offers best in class audio performance, all with just a USB connection. The only bit of RGB on it is the glowing logo and microphone lip that can be customized with LightSync and G-Hub. And it's optimized for streaming because the condenser capsule has a cardioid pickup pattern that focuses on your voice, helping to reduce unnecessary background noise like typing and clicking. It's completely plug and play. However, if you want a bit more customization like voice effects or audio enhancements, then you can use the Blue Voice software on G-Hub. Something cool about Blue Voice that I didn't know about was their software lets you actually sample and add fun effects directly to your stream. Just want to note though that this microphone unfortunately does not have mute button. So there's oh. that. The second microphone is the Logitech G Yeti GX and I'm now using this microphone as a sound test so we can hear the quality. By the way, I was using this microphone during the Litra Beam LX portion of the intro. So this sleek microphone has a much higher price tag than the Logitech G Orb that I just showed you coming in at $149.99 versus $59.99 for the Orb. You can definitely notice a difference in build and sound quality. The Orb is advertised as the entry level microphone where the Yeti GX is for people getting serious about streaming and content creation or if you really need the best sound quality from your work from home job. The Yeti GX is a top address microphone so you speak directly into the top and they recommend keeping your mouse about 1 to 12 inches away from the mic. I said about but no that's that's the range. So the Yeti GX has a broadcast style dynamic mic capsule that uses a super cardioid pattern to focus only on your voice and has a bit more RGB with the ring around the base and logo. So if you've got it hooked up to a boom arm, it produces a really nice glow for your viewers to look at, especially if you have it synced to the game that you're playing. Similar to the Orb, you can use blue voice filters, samples, and effects to make your streams even more fun and engaging. I also noticed that if you boop the microphone, the scroll wheel turns red to signal that it's been interfered with, which is interesting. It has features like a smart auto lock that uses an analog limiter to prevent your gain clipping or picking up on background noise. And the scroll wheel lets you use one hand to easily control your mic gain directly on the microphone itself. Once you reach your ideal gain, you just press the scroll wheel to lock the start audio lock setting. That was a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> Sleek, clean, it's gamer friendly in both design and function, and it looks great on your desk. And is it weird if I say the Yeti GX gave me some confidence in my voiceover? I actually really like how my voice sounds on it, especially after using the broadcaster preset on Blue Voice, which is what I've been using throughout this whole video. I always dread having to do voiceovers because I can't find a microphone that just makes me feel comfortable with my own voice. I know nobody likes hearing their own voice, but this, I feel professional. And especially with the broadcaster preset, I don't know, just, it's cool, I like it. <laughs> Both microphones can of course be mounted to a boom arm like the Logitech G Compass that I have and can totally be adjusted to position in front of you or around you, I guess, however you want it. Let's do a quick sound test to see what both microphones sound like on a boom arm. Let me know what you think. This is what the Logitech G at EGX sounds like with blue voice on, about four to five inches away from my mouth and on a boom arm.
And this is what the Logitech G Yeti GX sounds with Blue Voice off. Same position, four to five inches away from my mouth and on a boom arm. This is what the Logitech G Yeti Orb sounds like with Blue Voice on, about four to five inches away from my mouth and on a boom arm. Now this is what the Logitech G Yeti Orb sounds like with Blue Voice off. Same position, about four to five inches away from my mouth and on a boom arm. It's actually pretty interesting how much of a difference Blue Voice on Logitech G Hub makes. The audio is so much more quiet and less clear without it on. So I strongly suggest downloading the app for free and tinkering with your settings. Cause you can customize things like depoppers, de-essers, gate, compressors, and more on top of the presets and sound effects I mentioned earlier. All in all, this is a really solid product launch and I appreciate that they have both an entry level and more premium mic option depending on your needs. Even though they're of course geared towards gamers, streamers, and creators, like I mentioned earlier, I really think they're all very versatile and can absolutely be used in other fields, especially with how common it is now to work from home. Gaming setups have evolved so much to where aesthetics now really matter alongside function. And you can always expect Logitech to deliver on sleek and strong designs paired with high build quality. I've been using Logitech literally since I first started using computers at like nine years old and they've come so far with their quality, aesthetics and reliability. It isn't really part of it, but I really wanna to touch on the boom arm, the compass, because I hate the way classic boom arms look. It made me always want to have a microphone and boom arm hidden because they felt so tacky with the exposed spring showing. So the fact that both the microphones look really cool on top of the compass boom arm means I can keep it on my desk for easy access of content creation or gaming. But of course it's 2023 and brands are still not releasing white versions of things which really sucks for people like me with all white setups but then again if you're into DIYing I'm sure you can find a way to spray paint it if you really want to so Logitech if you're listening please come out with white versions of everything you make okay love you thank you anyway as a content creator I've always wanted to try a key light because I know that even though I have tons of RGB lights on my setup or around my setup nothing compares to a direct source of light that's meant to cast directly on your face to make you look better and the Litra Beam LX feels like the perfect addition to my content creation flow not only is it a unique design from what I've seen before or rather haven't seen before but I love that it's flexible and it really does feel sturdy and well made so yeah to sum it all up I'm genuinely really impressed with this new lineup and these are now staple products in my gaming and content creation workflow so thank you again so much to Logitech G for hooking me up let me know what you think about this new Logitech G collection and which one you would want to try the most as always everything will be linked down below for you to check out on your own thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next video